Welcome to Video Friday and Photography by Harrison. My name's Joyce, I'm the guest photographer, and this is Lisa, our guest director. Yesterday we showed you a tease about water drop photography. So today we're going to show you the entire process from beginning to end. Okay, the first thing that you're going to need is something that everybody pretty much has, and that's a sink and a faucet. Next, you'll need a camera, and any camera will do. Today, we're going to be using a bridge camera, which an advantage of the camera is it has a smaller sensor, which gives you a greater depth of field, and it's critical in water drop photography. Next, we'll be using a manual flash with a simple wireless transmitter and receiver, and you can probably purchase all three of these for around $50 on eBay. And of course, you know you're going to need a tripod for your camera. Once we set our camera up, we're going to put it on manual focus. So as you can see, we have our manual flash set at 1 16th of power. So we've got our camera set up and we've got our flash set up. So I'm going to fire off a couple more test shots. And our camera shutter speed is 250 at f8. And remember, it's the flash that freezes the water drop, not the camera. So now that we have the focus that we want and the lighting that we want, let's change the background a little. If you have a wireless cable release or an app on your phone, you can activate the shutter that way also. But since we're all about low cost photography, you can still get razor sharp images by pressing the shutter with your finger. Because remember, it's a gentle squeeze, not a jump up and down motion. So when it comes to freezing the water drops, it's basically trial and error. And keep firing until you get the one you want. We now have the faucet drops we want. So now we will move to a glass. So this is the glass we will be using. Make sure that it's smudge free. Now to change things up a little, we're going to add a little color. Now we don't have any food coloring, but we do have this drink packet. And two additional items we can add would be this medical bowl and drinking straw. Now the drink packet is going to give us the color that we want. And of course, the medical bulb will give us the drops that we want. And our straw will give us a focus point. So you're going to sit in the center of the glass to focus on. We're getting some of the shots we want, but also on this, you have to remember to frequently clean the sides of the glass off. Also on this, it's trial and error till you get the shot you want. Unlike on the last shot where your flash was horizontal, this one your flash should be elevated. And if you don't have an extra tripod, a guest director will do. And just like that, it's that easy. Now pick up your camera and try it. We want to thank you for coming along with us on this photographic journey. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the right hand corner and hit the subscribe icon. Also, hit the notification icon so you can get all, all our videos on Tuesday and Friday and also random days during the week, but definitely Tuesday and Friday. And I, and I said this before, and I will say it a thousand times, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all, so we're always open for feedback. We've got thick skin, so we don't mind a, a comment, because the only way you get better is knowing what you're doing wrong. Because a lot of times, if you only know what you're doing right, you might not get better because you think you're perfect. And as we know, no one's perfect. Because when it comes to photography, the more you learn, the more you didn't know. And as always, I'm George Harrison. I'm Joyce Bass. And our guest director. I'm Lisa Slade. And until then, we will see you next Tuesday. Tuesday.